Hey y'all, today as you can see by the title, we're going to be doing a, a Valentine's Day slash spring inspired makeup tutorial. Um, as you can already tell, I've got my base on already pretty much, so um, before I move into the tutorial part, and I guess the get ready with me part, um, I'm just going to show you guys what I've already used to get to this point so far, and then we'll just we'll continue on with the video. So for my base, or my primer, I'm using the Dr. Brandt Pores No More Pore Refiner Primer. It's one of my favorites, um, at least at the moment. I've used it, you know, for I think a couple months now, and I've really enjoyed it. I've used quite a bit of it. You can't really tell, but I really enjoy this one, so it's a nice matte base. So that's what I used on my face today. And for foundation, I kind of did a little foundation mix here. So I'm using the L'Oreal Paris 24-Hour Infallible Pro Matte. This has been around for a while now, but I recently picked it up and have really come to enjoy it. It's supposed to be a demi-matte finish. It's lightweight. It's, you know, I really enjoy it, uh, especially for my oily skin. But what I did with this was I mixed in a little bit of MAC Strobe Cream, just the classic Strobe Cream. Um, I mixed those two together a little bit to kind of... Um, make that a little bit lighter of a finish. I didn't want complete full coverage. I wanted to have some of my freckles and actual skin show through. So um, that's I want to go for like a really soft um, but maybe kind of sultry um, smudged out look on the eyes today. So I wanted my skin to complement that. I didn't want to wear like complete full coverage. So that's what I'm going for today. I also I covered up um, my acne and my under eyes with Tarte Shape Tape. Everyone loves and knows Tarte Shape Tape. The shade I use is light. Um, it's a pretty perfect match for me. So so that's what I did today to just cover cover up some of my imperfections, like more of the redness and acne that I didn't want to show through, and I use that as an eye primer as well. So that's what I did next, and then to set everything down, I first went in with the Cody Airspun powder. It's a, a nice drugstore loose powder. This is the translucent extra coverage one, so I really enjoy that as well. I just went in with a really light, uh, small detailed brush, um, and just kind of lightly dusted that over, and then just to kind of finish everything and have my skin look a little bit more luminous or I guess natural not exactly luminous but like um, yeah I guess a little more natural is what I would describe it as I went in with the Laura Mercier uh, candle glow sheer perfecting powder in the shade fair um, I actually think this is like it's not exactly fair sorry um, it's almost like exactly my skin tone but maybe a touch darker or a touch warmer so I, I I enjoy it but I think I like the hourglass ambient lighting powder and ethereal light more so if I had to pick between that one um, or this um, I'd say go with the hourglass one but I'm gonna use this until I use all of it up because it's nice it's just not like my holy girl ultimate favorite but it is nice and it does give me a nice you know smooth effect and it doesn't emphasize the texture that I already have and it doesn't make my skin look worse so I I don't know I just kind of lightly use that just to kind of finish um, my face and you know maybe dust off any of the extra um, Cody Airspun powder so I don't look too flat you know so that's what I used up until this point and then oh I actually forgot I did um, comb through my brows and I set them with the essence um, lash and brow gel mascara it's just a clear you know really affordable um, uh, what's it called? Uh, brow gel. So it's just a clear brow gel. I didn't want to put anything in my brows today. I don't know. I was just kind of feeling like, you know, I guess more natural, um, but I wanted them to look groomed and like in place. So I did, you know, comb through them with that gel and I think they look okay. I have pretty naturally good brows, so I'm, I'm not feeling too bad about that today. Okay, so after all that, that's the skin up until this point. Let's do the eyes. So I think what I want to go in with first is my new um, Chanel uh, Stylo Ombre et Contour. <laughs> very fancy, very bougie. Um, in Nude Eclat number six. This is just a nice stick eyeshadow, so I don't know if you can tell what that's all about, but it's just a nice um, kind of a pinky beige color and it's a twist up so it's kind of nice you can you know you don't have to sharpen it frequently so I'm gonna just put this I think all over the eyes just for a nice light base I know I already went in with my concealer but I kind of wanted to you know add a little bit of color but it kind of just blends in really nice with my skin tone and it glides on really smooth and I'm just gonna blend this out with my finger um, just a little bit just so it kind of blends in and dries down a little bit but you can't even hardly see it but I think it just nice it adds a nice like really soft sheen um, you can wear these on its own they have several other colors um, at um, I think you can get them at Nordstrom you can get them at some Ulta locations depending 
on where you live. Not every Ulta has them, but yeah, I'm just kind of blending that out with my fingers just softly. I don't want to have like too much of a strong, like opaque base. So that's what that is. That's what that looks like. Again, really light. You probably can't even see anything, but what I'm gonna do next, and I like to do this trick often, I think it's helpful, I'm gonna take my Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer in Original, is this the original one? Yeah, it's just called Bronzer, so before they came out with all the shades, uh, this is the original one. So I'm gonna take my little Eco Tools crease brush here, uh, the blend, yeah, the blend side, I'm gonna take some of that and I'm gonna put it in my crease as a nice transition shade for my eyes. So just lightly take just a little bit and this is just gonna add a little bit of definition to the eyes but without being too heavy or too stark just really light um, yeah so the look I'm going for today is just really soft um, not exactly smoky but you know just kind of sultry and blown out and just really light I'm even taking that on the lid as well so it's kind of setting down that base that we just put down um, on top of the concealer as well so your eyeshadow should not move all day if you have the correct you know, base put down already. So yeah, just really soft. I'm not going in with a heavy hand at all. Um, just really soft and gently blending it out. I really like these Eco Tools brushes. I think they do a good job of blending things out and applying powders. I'm a fan. So just kind of layering that up just a little bit. I want to make sure that you can see it at least just a little bit, but not I don't want it to look like, oh, that's like super brown, like what she's wearing, you know what I mean? So I have kind of deep set eyes, so I'm bringing it up a little bit, a little bit higher. So if you want to, if you have deep set eyes and you keep your eyes open when you blend out, you can kind of see better where the color is going. And it kind of just uh, enhances your eyes a little bit better. So I think that's okay. I'm going to add just a little more just for a final touch. Because when you blend it away, it kind of takes away some of that color as well. So you can really layer this up if you'd like. If you have maybe a little bit of a deeper skin tone than I do. But I'm kind of just being careful. Just because I don't want too much. But you can make this as dark as you would like. But I think this is good. So I think I'll stop here. Yeah, I think that looks good. So we'll leave that. That's the transition. And then let's see, what do I want to do next? I, my plan was is to use the original Naked palette. I know you can't get it anymore, unfortunately, but um, just use, you know, whatever um, shimmery, kind of like pinky beige um, color as a powder on the top of your eyes, because that, so this kind of matches that uh, Chanel uh, eye crayon that I just used. I'm going to be using the shade Sin, so it's that one right there. Um, Urban Decay also sells this individually as well, so if you want to pick that up uh, to match this, you can, but any, you know, it's like a peachy, or sorry, pinky beige uh, champagne shimmer. It's just a really nice light shade, really shimmery. I mean, Urban Decay's shadow qualities are great. I'm just taking this um, flat shader brush that's kind of big and fluffy, and I'm just putting this all over the lid. So, as you can tell, right away, it makes it a little bit more frosty, a little bit more shiny. Really nice, classic, pretty color. I mean, of course, you can't beat the original Naked palette. And this big, fluffy brush really spreads it out um, quickly. So this, this shouldn't take too long at all if you're in a rush and you're trying to put, put a look together on your eyes this is really quick if you're just like a one shade and go kind of person this is perfect or maybe even two shades you know just super quick nothing too fancy but it adds impact so yeah that was super quick I mean I'm just kinda blending it out to make sure nothing's super harsh but yeah this is super soft really pretty and I think that's the only the only shade I'm going to use on the top of my lids. Yeah, looking at this now, I think that's good. Um, I will switch over to um, my ColourPop Double Entendre palette. Um, that's what that looks like. And then I'll just open it up for you guys so you can kind of see the kind of colors that come inside. So I think what I'm going to be using to highlight my inner corners for now and underneath my brow bone, I think I still need a little bit of something, but something nice and soft and light. Um, I'm going to take the other end of my Eco Tools brush, this little smaller flat shader brush, and I'm going to go in with this shade right here, the nice creamy pale one. Uh, I'm not sure. The names are on the back, but I don't know if they're on the right like left to right or if like when you flip it over it's like right behind the name so it's either called locked and loaded or flasher so one of those but either way uh just this this creamy shade right here i'm gonna take that just carefully and i'm gonna um add that underneath the brow bone so everything's yes it's a little bit 
shimmery, but it's not too metallic to where it's like super stark. It's just nice and soft and glowy and just kind of enhances your features in a little more natural way. Not, you're not like, too, you know, it's not too much, I don't think. I think this is perfect. So just to add a little bit more um, shadow up there, and I'll do the same thing again on the other side. Just a little bit. Just lightly tap and just kind of blend that out underneath. So your brow bones will be nice and highlighted. And then I'll take the same thing again on the inner corner. So I'm going to leave my eyes open for that, I think. So I'm going to drag that on the inner corner, but also a little bit on this front end of the lower lash line, just to kind of open up the eyes, because we're going to add a dark brown liner there in a second. So I'm going to go there quickly, just kind of pop that on. And even when you're there, blend it out, make sure it's not like too, you know, it's not like just a dot, you know, you want it to look seamless and blend it out. Yeah. So that's pretty. So yeah, so far, you could even stop here if you don't want to add the eyeliner. If you want to just leave it as is, add some mascara, um, you're good to go there as well. But what I'm going to do, I'm going to go in, I'm going to take my Urban Decay 24-7 Glide On Liner in Bourbon. Everyone loves Urban Decay eyeshadows. I'm a huge fan of them. I have several colors. Some of them, unfortunately, you can't even get anymore. But I'm going to take this on the tight line, so on my upper lash line and as well as my lower lash line, and then I might take that brush that we just used and kind of smoke it out a little bit. But what I love about having a brown liner and using the same technique you would to tight line with the black is that, you know, it's a little bit softer. It especially looks good with if you have lighter colored eyes, I think. It's a little less stark, but it's still, you know, you've had that impact. Your lashes look really thick and um, luscious so I'm just gonna I'll show you guys what the end result looks like and this is like a nice dark brown but it's also got some sparkle in it too which is which I think is really nice for Valentine's Day so your eyes kind of sparkle and they shine and they stand out so be careful when you're doing this take your time don't go too fast I probably shouldn't be talking so I'm just gonna not for a second and then just kind of carefully 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 I think I'm just going to stop at like the inner half. I'm not going to go like all the way around. I'm just going to kind of take that on the inner half carefully. Don't press too hard. With these eyeliners, the good thing about these in particular is they're really soft too and smudgy, so you don't have to worry too, too much about hurting yourself. But yeah, be careful. Oops, I got a little bit up there, so I'm going to blend that out a little. Actually, you know what? Since I already made that mistake, I'll just add a little bit, just a little bit on the outer corner up here, and we'll blend that out in a second. So I'll do the same thing on the other side since I messed up. That's okay. So that'll add a little bit to your lashes and make them look a little more... Um, a little more thick. So I'll take the same brush that we just used, the little tiny flat side of the Eco Tools brush, and I'll just smudge that out just a little bit. So that's kind of nice. So it's, you know, this is a good tip if you don't want to use black, but if you still want to add like a little bit of emphasis and define your eyes a little bit, it's a good, it's a good little tip. Use brown instead of black, or you could go in with like a light gray. Um, that would look nice if you have different colored eyes as well as me. Like if you have really dark eyes, add like a light gray or like a light silver, that'd be really cool. So that's the top, same thing on the bottom. Just carefully, don't, don't tug your eye too much, but I just kind of gently pull it down and get the waterline and on this one I'm gonna kind of go closer to my tear duct so I'm gonna drag that all the way in I think that makes it a little bit more sultry so yeah just quickly and if you're not talking like me you can get this done super quick there we go yeah and it's okay if you're a little messy with it. You don't have to be perfect. But same thing again. I'm going to take that small little smudger brush and just kind of gently just run it over a little bit. Run the brush over the liner just at the lash line. You don't have to dig into the waterline. Just kind of gently just so it doesn't, excuse me, just so it doesn't look too, you know, too harsh. There we go. It's starting to look a little bit more like it's coming together, I think. Yeah. Make sure it doesn't collect. Am I, my eyes just water so much that every time I put eyeliner on, no matter what it is, it like collects in my outer corner. But okay, I think that looks a little better now. So 
yeah, so this is what we have so far. I'm a fan. Um, and I think, actually, you know what I think I'm missing? I'm missing something on the lower lash line to blend that out. So, I'm, again, I'm just going to take the same old little shader brush that we just used. I'm going to go in with our bronzer again. And I'm just going to just, like, gently have that lower lash transition. That's what I was missing. I was As I was looking at it, I was like, that actually doesn't look as complete as I thought. So, just barely smudge that out. Yeah, I like that a lot more now. So it also keeps the sparkle like really close to the eyes and it just kind of gently, you know, fades out because the bronzer isn't sparkly at all. Oh my gosh, the light is going away. I'm so sorry. Nothing I can do. Okay, and I'll just take whatever's left over and I guess run that along the top just a little bit, you know. Because why not? Nice, soft, and blended. Make sure my eyes aren't watering. Okay, I think that looks good. All right, so let's move on. Before I go in with mascara, I think I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna start, I'm gonna go back to the face, um, and then I'll do mascara last just so we can like finish with the eyes and see it all come together. But for now, let's go to the face. So one other trick that I really like to do, if you want your blush to last like all day, super long, like super long wear, um, one tip I like to do is I like to take a lipstick. So if you don't have any cream blushes, just use a lipstick and you can use them as a cream blush. Um, I'm gonna take MAC Little Buddha. This is a cream sheen lipstick. And I know it looks intimidating now, but it's a super, like, it, like, matches my shirt. Well, no, my shirt's a little more pink. This, I guess, is, like, a, maybe a corally pink, but it's really pretty. I like using this on my cheeks. And so I'm just going to dot this just a little bit like that and then just kind of quickly blend it out with your finger. I know it's going to look crazy now, but when you think about it, blush is one of the first things to fade on you in your skin. And we're going to do this before bronzer too, so hopefully when we put the bronzer on top it'll kind of blend it out a little more. But you're just going to just gently pat on your skin. Oh my gosh, I love, I love the way that looks. Like, I'm, I'm a fan of, like, a lot of blush, especially because on me blush fades so quickly. Like, by the, by the time the day's over it, like, doesn't look anywhere near the same. So, same thing other side, just, like, gently. Don't let it sit there for too long, so you want to, like, you can always add more and just dot on a little bit more right away if you don't get the effect that you want when you first do it, but it's better to go slow and build up rather than put a whole bunch on and then try and take it away, but I think this is perfect, and I always like to take a little bit of blush down my nose, so you've seen me do that in other videos, too, if you've watched my other videos on my channel. But yeah, I think that looks really good. So for now, we're going we're gonna to keep it like that. And then what I'm going to do is, so like I said, we're going to take that bronzer. I'm going to use the same bronzer on my face that we used on the eyes. I'm going to take that bronzer with a Morphe E52 brush, nice big fluffy brush, um, and I'm going to dust that over. So it's going to kind of set that blush in place, and then I'll go back with my powder blush and put it on top. So it like kind of holds it even more, and it adds a little bit more of an impact with the color. So right now, I'm going to go in with the bronzer. Perfect. Yeah, so this just kind of gently sets that blush. And I'm just going to, like, drag it around the perimeter of my face. I love this bronzer. It's great. Tap that off a little bit. And then just quickly fluff that on. And I'll drag that a, a little bit on my nose as well, just to kind of set that. And then the forehead. Just kind of dust it around the perimeter of your face. And you can, again, always build up. It's better to go little by little than add too much right from the beginning. Especially since right now it's it's more winter time and I'm, I don't have self-tanner on. So I don't want to look like super, super bronzed because it just wouldn't be seasonally appropriate, I guess. But you can do whatever you want. This is just what I'm doing. But I think it complements the eyes as well. You know, nothing's overdone. You know, you're just, it's very simple, very soft. I'll add some, just a little bit under here, just to add a little bit of color. I guess that's really kind of the goal here is I'm just adding a little bit of color, but not, not too much, just very soft. Letting the skin, you know, show through, have its moment. I left my some of my freckles down here too, so kind of nice, I guess, every once in a while. Add a little bit more down here. 
just a little bit for color so you're not super flat you know especially if you're pale you can kind of look a little flat sometimes so there we go that's perfect and then now like I said going in with our powder blush this time so now let's go in with our L'Oreal true match blush I mean this has been around also for a really long time I'm using the shade baby blossom C1-2 if that means anything to you um, so I'm gonna go in with my real techniques little flat uh, cheek pop brush what is it called the insta pop uh, doesn't say it on here, does it? Uh, Instapop cheek brush. I really like this one. So I'm gonna go, like, pretty ham with it. Because on me, it looks so natural, this color. It, like, looks like my natural cheek color. And it, so it kind of fades, but, like, with that, um, with that, uh, lipstick as a base, this will last a little bit better. But I think the super pink look, obviously, it's appropriate for spring, Valentine's Day. You know, if you got a nice pink shirt on, it'll just kind of compliment you. And especially with my skin tone, like, I think it looks particularly nice. But I encourage you, like, try it out, even if you're not the same skin tone as me. Like, try it out and let me know what you think. Or not. I mean, totally up to you. You can use whatever blush and, and uh, whatever shade suits your skin tone. Uh, use whatever you want. But for me... I think this is super appropriate and that way my blush will actually last all day which thank goodness I don't do this as often as I should but every time I realize when I do it it looks so nice and it actually like lasts and since it's set with the powder it doesn't like break down my makeup it doesn't like I have really oily skin so um, it doesn't you know break down or look greasy on me which is nice so I'm just kind of, again, dusting. I like to put blush kind of all over because on me it looks natural. But if it doesn't look natural on you, then don't do it. Unless you want to try it. Um, so that's that. And then now the fun part. Everyone loves highlight, right? That's, that's the fun, exciting part that kind of just finishes the whole look. Adds that, you know, finishing touch. Today I wanted to go in with something light. And I'm going to go in with the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector, the Pressed Powder in Pearl. Uh, one of my favorites of all time. I love this. It's a, it's like, yeah, it's it's one of my favorite shades for a highlight ever. I love it as eyeshadow. Um, I use this stuff all the time. So I'm going to take my little Real Techniques um, setting brush. I'm going to use this. Just gently swirl around, tap off the extra, and then just carefully just graze the top of the cheekbones. Just, you know, softly. And even a little bit under the brow, it'll kind of mix in with that eyeshadow we used. I'm just bringing this around the temple. So kind of that classic C shape. Um, just really nice, soft glow. Perfect for fair skin. I'm bringing down the extra whatever's left over on my brush down my nose. Just, you know, a little bit. I don't like to highlight the tip of my nose, so just like down the bridge, like right here. And it's perfect. And I'll do the same thing on the other side. Oh, it's so pretty. I think it goes really well with that Laura Mercier powder too. It just kind of like just blends in really beautifully. So all the skin today is going to be um, coming through and just looking really nice. And still hopefully natural. I didn't bring my setting spray out here, but you can use whatever setting spray you want. You could use a, you know, a long wear setting spray. You could use dewy setting spray, matte, whatever you like. You could even spray your face. Like, I like to use the Caudalie Grape Water as a setting spray. Just, you know, because it's, it's, there's no really crazy ingredients in it. It's just simply grape water. It just kind of melts the powders into the face. That's a good idea, too. Um, but let's actually, let's finish with mascara. And then I have a lip gloss that I'll show you guys. It's one of my favorites of all time. But for now, let's do the lashes. This is the L'Oreal Voluminous Carbon Black um, Mascara. A classic. It's been around for years and years and years. It's really, truly wonderful. Um, I really, really like this one. The Voluminous Original that's not the Carbon Black is good too, but the Carbon Black is like, it makes such a difference. So you could even go in with a brown mascara if you wanted to as well, because like I said, like maybe going in with the black is sometimes a little too stark, but this is the only one I have right now, so that's what we're doing. Maybe on a different day if I had a brown mascara, I would use that, but this looks just as good. You could even go in with false lashes if you wanted to, but... That also adds to the time factor as well. So if you just want like a quick, soft makeup look, I think this one is really appropriate. And even, you know, if it's not Valentine's Day and you're watching this, and if it's not spring, I think this is just a nice, appropriate, you know, daytime, you know, work appropriate, school appropriate kind of look with a few of those, you know, the tip of, you know, making your blush last longer so you don't have to touch up. 
um, I think this this look can you know serve different purposes as well. So that's good, and then I'll add odd a little bit on the lower lash as well. I don't like leaving my lower lashes blank. I don't like the way that looks on me, so. There we go, just a little bit. Yeah, I think that looks good. Perfect. But you can tell, like, even just, a, like, those two shadows we used, or I guess three, because we used the bronzer and then, um, the Urban Decay shade and then that light color on the inner corner and the brow bone. But just three eyeshadows, a little bit of liner and a little bit of mascara makes such a big impact. And I think the cheeks look nice, the skin looks nice. And then let's finish with the lips. So today I really wanted to use just a nice wash of gloss. Um, I'm using the Buxom uh, Plumping Lip Cream and Blushing Margarita. One of my favorites of all time. You could use White Russian as well. I mean, use whatever, you know, lip gloss that suits you. But it's just a nice, natural pink shade. I like a your lips but better. But no shimmer. It's just like a like like it looks like glass lips, you know? Oh, I love it. No lip liner. Easy to reapply. Oh, mm. Love the way that looks. It's not too much, you know. Really nice and soft and simple, but what do you guys think? Um, I want to hear your thoughts on this look. Would you try this? If you do try this, um, tag me on Instagram. My Instagram handle and everything are down below. So, yeah, I think that's it. I'm just going to end here. Thank you guys so much for taking the time to watch this today. Um, thanks for stopping by and taking a look at my channel. Um, if you have a moment, please feel free to do that. Um, and, yeah, I hope you guys have a happy Valentine's Day or Galentine's Day or however you choose to celebrate or not celebrate. I just hope it's a good day for you regardless. Um, happy spring coming soon. Um, yeah, and I think that's it. I'll talk to you all on the next one. Bye.